Hi, Little Works, my channel. I've just found out some really inf uh, interesting information about light workers, earth angels, and star seeds. Um, I'm literally not looking great, to be fair. We could do with a bit of a hair vamp, um, whether that's relevant to this, I'm not sure. But I want to have a little talk about each of these and what I've learned about them because it is fascinating. I often see on YouTube um, advertisements for like G A I A G R um, about talking about different like beings in the past or whatever. And I haven't really gone, I tried to kind of go onto the website, I learned a bit of stuff about it, but that's kind of something else i think there is a website called g-a-i-a -A, if you want to look yourself if you haven't seen that um but a light worker is basically when people you know and apparently everyone has the ability to be each one of these three things but it's which one you identify with because i do think i think i'm all of them <laughs> um and i and she said anyone can be um if you want to be i think um so that's interesting to know and kind of humanity you know it's kind of like nice that everyone can be because but you you get different types i think of each one and you get negative aspects of star seeds so a light worker is where you embody we all apparently as human beings have the have the ability to embody light um and sort of light energy and bring that into physical form aka our body um and like mind and spirits they're all connected um and light workers, let me look up the different types of light workers. Um, because you can get empathic light workers. Um, light workers generally, um, I'll go into it on this. Like, I think I'm an empathic light worker, um, so I can feel where the light needs to go. Because I think light workers, you, you can either bring it into your physical self, or yeah, I, I, I looked at this thing called a grid worker where you actually go around different parts of the world to or different parts of like your city or country or whatever just to spread good vibes basically uh divine light workers um you get grid workers yeah this was what i was talking about and gatekeepers don't know if i want to go too deep into this but i was researching different types of like holistic vampires aka like you know like energy suckers like narcissistic vampires blah blah, blah. And there is a type of vampire which i can't bother to talk about because i can't honestly remember the name I like to look into holistic stuff and they're gatekeepers of like different types of energy so if we want to we don't really want to go too deep into all of the areas but they could be gatekeepers because i do think some people are like just more attuned to different types of energy like um even if it's kind of you know people are attuned to different things you know even and we all have like different draws to different like i might be a gatekeeper of like sort of i'm kind of sensitive i'm a highly sensitive person so i might be a gatekeeper of like chaos to some extent do you know what i mean i don't think you can be a gatekeeper of chaos but do you know what i mean like we're all attuned to different things which is why even though the world works in a really detrimental way between each other sometimes if things are out of alignment like we can also be quite beneficial to the collective when when in sort of alignment to all of our own separate specification or gifts if you know what i mean um, so yeah, grid workers, they move around to kind of spread light throughout the world. Um, healers, yeah, I think empaths are often healers, but you can actually get a lot of different types of star seeds that are also healers. Um, you don't actually have to be an empath to be a healer, apparently. Um, but we, I'll get into the whole star seeds thing in a minute. But you can, as I said, have variations of each, but I suppose it's just which one you most identify with as a person. Most healers and highly sensitive people are sorry most empaths and highly sensitive people are healers that's interesting to know i think i'm both uh transmuters they neutralize negative karma and trans transmute it to release it into light When I say everyone can be a light worker, it doesn't mean everyone will. And as a, I'm going to go on to the negative aspects of star seeds because you get good and bad star seeds. Um, even but you're drawn to a polarity. I'm just gonna, I'm going to carry on talking <laughs> about light workers because I'm going to keep it in order. But just as a thing, like I'm like, oh, like every, everything's not about love and light. Like we've moved into this new astrological era, and it's not all about like because 
I'm going to I'm going to go off topic ever so slightly, but the the planet we moved into the new astronomical era of Aquarius, and we're we're dealing with the new um, planets which rule this era are Saturn and Uranus. So Saturn is more about like let's just keep it as simple as we can. Uranus is basically um, has aspects of transcendence in its sort of like way it is. Like, which is why we often, I feel like, even, like, the world has, like, latched onto this, like, oh, like, everything's love and light and stuff. And it's not, like, we have a balance still, given the two planets. But there is aspects of transcendence which are really amazing in this era. And obviously we're all trying to, we're all living in, in this current era as it is. Um, but, yeah, so... Yeah, but in terms of star seeds, I just thought it was important to realise that there are polarities. You can either be drawn to the dark or the light. I do believe that there are good, obviously, aspects of each, but there are bad aspects of star seeds to be aware of. Because I'm like, oh, everyone can be a light worker, everyone can be an air page, everyone can be a star seeds. It sounds very love and light and only pure goodness, which is not necessarily the case. I think light workers are generally good, earth angels are generally good. Um, but yeah, star seeds is something to be aware of and it doesn't mean just because everyone can be these three things doesn't mean that they will choose to be or that they maybe have the ability to be because of their like negative aspects in terms of being a star seed. But anyway, messengers. Um, okay, so these receive messages from spirit guides, angels, ancestors and their job is to share these messages around the world um, through public speaking, the arts... Maybe I'm a type of messenger because I'm learning these things. But, or maybe I'm just like regurgitating information off the internet. You decide, no, I'm joking. No one cares. So, um, seers, psychics, clairvoyants. So, um, self-explanatory. So people with spiritual gifts. Um, they're often isolated and it is not easy to carry this gift and can be misunderstood. Dreamers or astral travellers is the next one. Um, I've always, I haven't, I don't really know a great deal about astral travelling, um, but dreamers, I've heard that a lot of people get messages in their dreams, like spiritual kind of messages or whatever, which they then share with the internet. Um, astral travellers. They can maybe it's just about because the thing about star seeds is the concept that you're I don't know, like there's an association with a planet. Um so maybe it just means kind of that ascension guide. Um, people that learn from their journeys to share with others um, manifestors so that's like the main divine blueprint people for light workers as well I definitely think there's like um, some people are like especially like empaths and stuff they're born with this like um, ability to like not deter from like human form like like for example like narcissists and stuff they're very easily like swayed um to do like evil things and if they're concentrating on their ego um but if but empaths often they've got this like blueprint for humanity which i think is essential um to have in the world so i think that's actually a very important part of like working um, so apparently every earth angel is a light worker. I'm going to talk about earth angels. <laughs> every earth angel is a light worker, and ev but not every light worker is an earth angel. So again, apparently we have the ability to be all three. But that is interesting to know. Earth angels, they're more like um, people that have a connection to um, the divine. Many, many people are sensitive, high sensitive people are empaths. I just love how like I swear like in like aspects of life not all of them I don't think even like I think it just is relative to where you are but sometimes empaths and highly sensitive people especially highly sensitive people they can just have like a, 
like be at like a slight disadvantage to maybe like dealing with certain aspects of stuff you might have higher levels of anxiety or something because like they're more like attuned but i don't think they're necessarily more attuned it's just about adapting to your environment but but they can have more spiritual avenues that i don't know i think everyone has spiritual avenues but they also a lot of the a lot of the spiritual stuff i look at it, it refers to empaths and, and highly sensitive people so there we go um the listener earth angels so yeah earth angels are more people that sort of have a connection to the divine in some way and and want to embody that and bring the gifts to the earth and share that with other people so you get listener earth angels um healer earth angels nature earth angels activist earth angels so people that are like activists for like human rights feminine rights masculine rights sexual rights physical rights i'm sure there's been a lot in the last like 100 years or whatever as we've obviously moved through society in a massive way and we've got rights for women and much more laws and like health regulations and safety regulations around so many things um and like obviously society's come like a massive way in the last like 100 years or whatever thanks to probably often activist and scientists and stuff i suppose but there's a lot of other people but creative earth angels so i suppose like musicians artists um actresses actors um um like i've always been extremely creative and sort of um identified in that way from a very very young age um I've always like played like guitar, I've always like sang, like it's been something I've gravitated to, so that would be my main earth angel um identification personally. I've got some, like singing videos on my channel if I can look at any of that. But I do think obviously like especially when it comes to like art and stuff, like like there's so many ways of explaining how people have abilities to do to do different stuff. Some people say that you can just be really like um even like have things like autism that really people that are literally like I'm not saying that you have to have autism if you have like a really really good learning ability but they do say that people that have like certain levels of autism they can like regurgitate like a whole scenic landscape I've heard in the past like obviously this isn't like very common but some people that do that and also have a level of autism can literally regurgitate like an entire scene of like landscape at, from from memory so but I'm not saying you have to be autistic again to literally have creative ability but I do think I'm slightly like have creative uh, autistic traits and I have a creative ability but I do think I don't know like that can be a factor but then obviously like not like so many people aren't um I don't know like like people have amazing abilities to draw some people have amazing abilities to to do all that stuff and it's just something that you're naturally you navigate towards within your intuition i believe god has a plan for all of us um, not to get like all biblical and that's not going to happen now but i do feel that like yeah like we all have like talents in different areas um i definitely know people that have like a massive connection to nature don't really want to put this in here i'm not really talking about witchcraft here but they do say that there are nature witches or green witches people that like go towards um nature as a thing but i don't advocate witchcraft so let's just leave that how it is um, animal ally earth angels um yeah so animal ally sorry <laughs> your brain rest there animal ally earth angels yeah self-explanatory Bu busy bee earth angels you know these people that are just like always doing something Cre caregiver earth angels so there are the types of earth angels and now we will do star seeds and this was actually the one i found most fascinating and to how much detail i will go into for this depends on how interesting i feel i'm still being <laughs> um it might be worth me like editing this into more of a digestible content because there are specific words that might be just difficult so let me try so the first one is Pleiadian star seeds. I think we might have to, yeah, Pleiadian star seeds. These people are very. So where did they come from? 
they're very young souls but they do have this like maturity at the same time um they can often be counselors crystal healers reiki people um and you can be like a mix of all of these things i'm gonna put probably i'm actually i don't usually do this but i'm gonna put the link below for the types of star seeds in case you want to see it in writing um but you can be a mix of these people i'm just gonna put like a general idea around each one of these so they're very young they're humanitarian empathic gentle perfectionists um drawn to astrology healers they understand yin and yang and light and dark um they're more advanced than mm, humans but um, and often look very nordic and have like light skin light hair fair eyes sorry light eyes fair hair <laughs> um as i said you can be a mix of different star seeds and this would be in the like positive do you remember how i if you're still watching i literally was, talk was talking about how in star seeds you can gravitate towards the positive and negative aspects of star seeds um and this would be in the like positive aspect um uh they're drawn to water and animals uh they exude feminine energy so that's that the next type of star seeds is a syrian star seed they're they're they lead very simple but spiritual lives loyal friends calm and adjusted intense daydreamers um yep arcturian star seeds they are draw they are natural born leaders charismatic logical thinkers um show anger when upset oh and what was interesting about each one of these is that how many dimensions they work in which i'm going to talk about because i think that's actually extremely important to each of these things how many dimensions sorry I'm, i should have like written this out in a more digestible content so i don't have to spend ages scrolling so i think it doesn't really mention how many dimensions the first one works in as in the Pleiadian star seed, but in the Syrian star seed, so they work in 60 frequency. So the 60 dimensions of frequency are, and I think it's just, it's it depends how intuitive and deep you want to go into this stuff. And this, I don't think it's that deep. It's just how people think. Like the six dimensions are spiritual, social, physical, intellectual, emotional, and environmental. So that is Syrian um, star seeds. And I said you can be a mix. Actuarian star seeds. How many dimensions do they work in? They exist in the fifth dimension only. What is the fifth dimension? I don't think I knew this. I thought they work in five dimensions. So I'm even learning the fifth dimension. As far as I can see, the fifth dimension is like, it's a micro dimension, which is accepted in physics and mathematics so it's like i don't know maybe just like a it's the fifth dimension they're more emotional mental and physical than than human beings they work only in the fifth dimension and that is the actuarian they're strong-willed beings um uh, natural born leaders yeah great public speakers may seem callous if not in tune with other people's emotions uh confident next is 
Andromedia and the Star Cities. At the bottom, at the end of this as well, it does talk about a couple of other things based on your age in terms of when you were born. I've just thought, so I'm just going to say that out there, which I think are still star seeds, but it's not so much ast astrological, the end of it, but watch as you wish. Um, they have a light or white aura, childlike but not childish, introverted. They have a magnetic aura, and I think these work in 12 dimensions, so the 12 dimensions... They're also creative and they'd be found in any field, freedom seekers, empathic, but guard themselves due to past trauma and conflict. The 12 dimensions are the underworld, physical, astral, mental, um, buddhic, spiritual, laws, energetics, the plan, I assume that means like god's plan and the creator so like divine energy so i just it's really like interesting to me how some people i think obviously we're we're probably most of us are a little bit of a mix um if you have these aspects or want to identify them or whatever but it's funny to me how some people work in like or think in some areas in 12 dimensions and some people think in one dimension aka just the fifth that's just really interesting to me. Um, oh, Orion star seeds. Oh, so much like mathematics. These are the. Op uh, I'm just. I'm gonna pick out the things that make sense to me. Orion. They like to learn. Calm and adjusted. Logical, min, min, star seeds. Um, they like being close to water. Um, considered the original light workers. Okay, so this is the the thing: indigo crystal and rainbow children. So I don't think this counts as light worker. Oh, it says. Yeah. Are these st star seeds? I'm not sure. So indigo crystal and rainbow children, depending on when you were born, apparently, and you're not necessarily this just because you were born within this time, but these are the types of... If you were born between the 1950s and the 1980s, you were, you could be an indigo child. Um, as I said, just because you are born between that time doesn't mean you're an indigo child. Um, these are sensitive, intuitive, strong-willed, rapid ascenders. Um... acceptance of others, um, rapid progressive change. If you were born between the 1980s and late 1990s, um, you could be a crystal child considered the starseed group. Um, they have feelings of homesickness, um, deeply spiritual, close to Mother Earth, healers. Uh, They're free. Oh, and then the last one is Rainbow Children, born after 2000. Um, and they are free from karma, generally. They have no karmic debt to, like, spend or um, pay. Um, because they're very, like, new souls, apparently. Um... So, in terms of being, being a light worker and a star seed, I think you can be both, but I don't think there is necessary. You don't have to be both. But if you are both, you can be highly intuitive, among other things. And then there's a couple of other light workers which I'm not going to go into. I'm just going to leave a link below because, uh, sorry, star seeds, which I, I can't be bothered to. Are these all star? Are these all light workers or all star seeds? I think these are all starseeds. I don't really want to go into like every single aspect. I think if you're interested, you can look at the link below. But what I do quickly want to say is you can have reptilian. So these are the dark aspects of starseeds. You can have reptilian starseeds, 
we had dark star, star seeds and they can be cruel and malicious um the sole purpose is to manipulate societies cultures and technological advancement uh, by depleting the planet's resources and committing crimes against humanity you also get draconian star seeds like dragony like that's like what the association is with dragons um they're a reptilian sub race and are evolved and they only wish to raise humanity's vibration uh, with the sole intent of harnessing resources for their own gain and personal power. They have a military style energy and their main agenda is coming for it, forth, conquer and multiply. Um, they can be the traits of these these can be money hungry if out of alignment, adaptable, commanding, chameleon like, a uh, strong sense of duty to their career or mission, high physical stamina, um, limited physical ability or spiritual healing, sorry, limited psychic ability and spiritual healing, has high respect for their community, dislikes higher authority than them, guarded with their emotions and strong and stoic. Um, so yeah, in conclusion, you can have a mix of all of these um and and yeah um i think obviously we can be a mix of many of them as individuals um but i suppose it's not about like going around life like expecting the best from people necessarily just because we can all technically be light workers does not mean we are all light workers or that we all desire to be light workers and there are many as i have seen reptilian and dragon-like people in this planet because you do gravitate even if you're a starseed to one or the other area be that light or dark and i think this whole venus retrograde or life in general or lockdown whatever you want to call it has really brought me a lot of and i do so many videos on narcissism reptilian if you want to get like holistic about it probably um but a lot of people just literally don't have good intention and it's really important to look out for those people um so but it's also good to be educated on positive um yeah that's one yeah that's always very interesting to learn about uh thank you for listening and bye